last week of the regular season for esports collegiate overwatch 2 2023 season today niu sports finishing out their regular season campaign against a tough but formidable opponent uh buffalo um it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those matches we've mentioned a few times that that niu season is gonna be gonna be defined by three matches and buffalo buffalo is one of them and excited to see excited to see what what we have in store today especially with the recent balance update although life weaver is not available in the match but nonetheless uh my name is alex you better know as frosty and here with my little co-commentator nick yeah that's me and we are <laughs> yeah. we're, we're excited to get things started i know teams are, are getting ready to, to ready up but uh, as we mentioned and something that that has been on the down low from us but the regular season ends today, but NIU Esports has already clinched a spot in the Esports Collegiate Playoffs. <laughs> so, they're going to the playoffs. They are locked in for the number eight seed, so they'll be facing the number one seed next Tuesday, That's 7 p.m. That's a lot of seeds. Yes. <laughs> so, it'll be... It'll be... Uh, our... our fate is pretty much set as far as what the regular season final placement holds for us but what is important about this match is that buffalo is currently sitting at the number five seed but with a, a defeat from the huskies here today they could move all the way down to seven seed so it, it's it, it'll be it'll be interesting buffalo's trying to get that matchup against what will most likely be ohio university uh, but if they fall a couple more spots, they may be looking at something like a Ball State, Northeastern, or, or a Miami, which is, you know, a considerable difference in, <laughs> in toughness right. of the opponent. Um, although, when you really get cut down to the playoffs, there's no, there's no easy team. So, NIU trying to, to head into the postseason with a bit of momentum here oh, against, against, just against a tough abyss. opponent in Buffalo. That is an abyss. <laughs> Wow. So we'll have to see. A couple balance updates. Brig with a huge buff. Yeah, she's got especially, the big old she's got big a, shield now. So triple times her shield during her ult. Can stun every big two seconds. Um, just insane numbers. But granted, it is only during an ultimate. So there's going to be a bit of experimentation, I believe, from, from a lot of players. So... Also, Life Weaver coming out, but as we mentioned earlier, uh, I think they're discussing servers. So, as we've mentioned before, um, Life Weaver available in comp play. Uh, I am now. For everybody else. Actually, not available. Available in quick play, but it's going to be a couple weeks before they're available in ESC play and competitive play. So, we won't be seeing Life Weaver today. But what we'll be seeing is a mirror matchup. Hayes, Flip Flop, Roserai, Carrot, all running through that Fab Lucio combo. Big difference you're going to want to notice is the Ramatra versus the Reinhardt. I know NIU has been opting for that Ramatra lately over the Rhine. And the Bastion actually trying to pour some damage in, trying to get people catch NIU's players off from the rotation. Burns the Immortality Field. NIU pushes up on that aggression. Excellent wall from Toko Toro to open things up. And looks like NIU is going to win this opening fight flawlessly. Very clean opening from the Huskies. Just the, yeah. you know, just a team kill to start off the game. Yeah, yeah, just nothing, nothing big. <laughs> it's but another day for NIU. <laughs> Toko Toro, MVP of that fight, putting up that wall, splitting, splitting Reinhardt away from the team yeah. perfectly. You know, they did call Toko Toro the architect back in high school. Dude, he is the, the way he just built these walls. If you if he builds it, the dubs will come. Can he build it? Yes, he can. Trying to do the same thing again, and Mudkip. Caught out, trying to break down this wall. Focus fire, excellent on the wall there at the very least. Oh, the gets the racer on to carrot. Another excellent, excellent team fight. Yeah, NIU Great is execution. Looking very strong right now. No ultimates committed. Mudkip swapping to the Cassidy. Racer has annihilation ready. If every time they've used annihilation, it felt like this season, it's been nothing but good news for NIU. Hoping to look for something similar again. Buffalo opting for a bit of a different route. Oh, Ooh. flawless with a double headshot onto a live. And Racer 
cleans it up with the Annihilation. Flawless does fall down. It's not entirely a perfect fight from NIU, but you have to think that they're going to be able to clean this one up. Even some staggers coming in. Buffalo not fully committing to the decontest, so leaves them in one fight territory. And you have three, potentially four ultimates on both teams, actually. So expect a little bit of tiny Overwatch action going on <laughs> with all the ultimates that are that are going to be throwing out. I have to immensely prepare myself. I love well. tiny Overwatch. I'm going to oh. watch this on half speed just to know what is going on. Both opting for another route. They commit the Blizzard. Both players commit the Blizzard at the same time. Both Immortalities fall. Everyone's, Everyone's frozen. frozen. But to not Toko Tor and Flawless who find three picks, four picks combined between the two of them. It's just alive on point. And NIU with a 100 to zero first point coming yeah, out I, strong. I think Simon says stop moving was too efficient. I know. Everyone just kind of stood there and waited. The NIU mouse stopping time. <laughs> but. Oh, we had a bit of a good catch, good catch. There we go. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I was too busy trying to capture all the action. <laughs> uh, what's really interesting here is I look at NIU and none of them are fishing. They aren't. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, this is. I know uh, they actually they actually had to put a patch in that lessened the amount of fish that spawned every time you <laughs> shot it because it was messing really messing with people's graphic performance, That's causing a few crashes. Well, it looks like they're not made to be fishermen. So. <laughs> Soft hands. Yeah, where I come from, uh, fishing <laughs> don't stop. Eat, sleep, so, right, fish. Far mercy. So, pulling the NIU strat, going for a far mercy with. What have you been trying? Hasn't been working. Follows with the hack. Pays no attention to the Sombra. Running fully into that front line. Toko Toro trying to find the Anna. Racer finishes the job. Oh, an excellent wall. wall. Finds a tank, but. Trades are coming in from both points. It's far, quite as far from over, especially if you cannot get this Far Mercy combo, which NIU is not able to. Trying to force that Sombra on point. It's the Sombra and the Far Mercy alive for University of Buffalo. NIU just trying to buy time. Toko Toro, Toko Toro swaps to Sojourn, Flawless on the Cassidy. So you got double hits again. You're gonna try and put an end to that Far Mercy combo. That one, then that fights so Buffalo, 10% and counting. Yeah, I mean, I, I do like uh, Tumbatoro on the main, but you know, Pharmacy just, you have to change your comp if you want to win against Pharmacy combos, so. With this comp, you're, well, you're, if you're NIU, you're just trying to avoid getting picked off early. This is something that we've seen a, a few times of, of these, these heavy poke cops catching someone out before the fight even begins. And alive, high enough to be able to get away with one pick. Flawless with excellent target selection. Finding that Mercy, denying the res. Point actually flipped towards NIU's favor, so they're gonna get some percentage of, of off this in anything. But I don't think you're gonna be able to do a clean flip. We'll get, um, they're gonna keep just jumping on the point. But it looks like it'll stop around 17%. NIU. My 17% for NIU. Take those. So we'll try. Keep that ticking. Although, okay. Buffalo's onto the Echo. A little, little better survivability. By much. You have Flawless and Toko Toro, the five person EMP. Huge from Mudkip. Completely team wipes. Oh, Racer actually. Copied the, copied the Annihilation. Uh -oh. You have to wonder if. You have to wonder if a hero swap is coming from yeah. them after, after that. It did not make much sense to, to use it when, when four people were down. I think I'm just looking at a new new pick here. Yeah, I mean, even with the hero swap, it's minus 25%. You know, it's your ult. Crucial to get all of them. So, and he has a little few more ultimates to work with. But if you're Buffalo, you'd be very happy with that last fight, winning it on the hands of only, only an EMP racer. Takes the other tank out of the equation. Doesn't look like any is position away. Buffalo is not going to get their Winston back anytime soon. Keep pouring damage on the point, trying to get alive, but they're going to have to find that Mercy first. And they do exactly that. Racer with the pick on the carrot. And he 
laying upon that aggression. Flip flop does fall. You lose and he loses their main source of heals. Gonna have to melt that echo. Has to commit sound barrier to keep the keep the team alive. Things settle down a little bit, and he does get point. We cannot afford to lose a single team fight from here on out if they want to get this 2-0 map victory. I always forget how much range Winston's uh, Zaki gun has. It is. It's, it's the definition of just the, uh, 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 the ultimate poke. A, a sleeper ability. Which <laughs> are trying to find something with Railgun. Gets a body shot on a Mudkip. Flip Flop finishes them off. So one of their main forms of initiation is gone, I think, if you're Buffalo. Maybe just try to use a drive fight. Maybe try to bait NIU into using some more ultimates. Come back, but you only have one, maybe two more opportunities at a team fight win here and with how slow Buffalo is taking this fight it's gonna look to be more like one uh, racer but if NIU wants to win this map they're gonna have to do it on the back of just Annihilation Racer finds Rosarai Toko Toro with the pick on the realization it is a five on three attack it's falling apart for Buffalo NIU Last second contest aside. Can they hold it for 10 seconds though? We have barring the last second contest, they will be getting this 2 0 victory. It's gonna close. Know, uh, Overtime clock will tick. Mudkip touching point. You instantly move into a 4 on 5 advantage though for NIU. Kitsune Rush being committed. Racer forcing out abilities from Rosarai. Trying to find something. And flawless with a 2k dead eye. Just has to melt that Primal Rage Winston and NIU moves up to a 1-0 lead. <laughs> I just heard a, heard like a, a woo, woo from the... Oh, that was a voice crack and a half. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's a woof. <laughs> there he is. Grandmaster Roll Challenger. <laughs> he actually sent me a Snapchat today. That was like, yeah, my, uh, my rank reset was uh, generous. Yes, anyone in, ch anyone in chat, let us know how your rank reset. I know some people's went up, some people's went down. Some are theorizing that it, it kind of depends on, on your playtime on certain roles. My, myself, uh, very graciously, maybe, maybe too graciously, got promoted to Grandmaster 4 on support. I don't, I don't know. I wonder, can I check my role from a <laughs> your account? Uh, maybe oh, on my friends list. It might not be completely up to date. Man, I am. Uh, you are a very social man. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of people that were former collegiate. collegiate hey, look at Mr. Ads. Popular over here. <laughs> <laughs> Is this alphabetical? Yeah, but then it it alpha uh, alphabetizes the online people first. So if you're offline, <laughs> <laughs> that's ridiculous. I'm I am really curious where I am, and we're just kind of waiting here. So you know what? I'm not in the next. Here we go. Ten days. <laughs> Some uh, behind the scenes. I don't know if it changed. Do I have to log in for us to change? I don't know. I hope I went up. We'll see. Only this looks the exact same as when I played. <laughs> it'll, it'll tell you when you <laughs> log in next under Overwatch. Awesome. But, but yeah. Good first game from NIU. Yeah, very, I mean, very really strong. Came I mean, swinging. I know Buffalo, very, very similar in skill ranking to, to NIU. I know... Um, like I said, there's that that second second tier of of, of teams, in my opinion. When it comes when you look at the, the power ranking slash standings, you kind of have you have Buffalo, Kent State, Western Michigan, NIU, all all fully capable of, of taking maps and, and team fights off each other back and forth. Um, NIU, unfortunate, fortunately, has not taken down Western Michigan and Kent State as far as the other teams in that tier goes. But they have a chance to to at least get one win here. And maybe maybe mess with some seeding. I know, uh, <laughs> you know, if they weren't already actively playing games, we would have uh, we'd have Kent State and Western Michigan in our in our chat right now, cheering cheering us on. <laughs> yeah. So looks like Buffalo's gonna opt to Paraiso. So they saw they saw what NIU could do with their brawl. They're gonna try and test out their dive a little bit, but I think I think NIU is pretty comfortable on on Paraiso. So this this bodes well. I I, I believe this bodes well for them. I mean, because we usually see. Uh you know what, that pharmacy usually coming in. Yeah, we usually definitely see the farmers both on attack and defense. Um, I don't believe, actually, I think Far Mercy did get uh, nerfed just a tiny bit with her healing. Mm -hmm. So uh, before, 
if a target was under half HP, you'd get increased healing for Mercy, but that is no longer the case. Well, I believe Mercy, with her Guardian Angel ability, uh, now has a lesser cooldown, so Mercy a lot more slippery, going to be a lot harder to hit, which is... Um, Gonna be gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a test for Buffalo and vice yeah. versa. Buffalo showed signs of, of running those farm mercy comps. I wouldn't be surprised if if they tried the same thing here on Parizo. But we will see. Just waiting patiently, you know. Well, let me pull up the patch notes. Let's see. Yeah, actually, I actually haven't looked too uh, far into the patch notes. So. I know. Oh, Moira got some buffs too, right? Yeah, Moira got a, a decent amount of changes. She can now fade during Coalescence, which is very interesting. Reinhardt, a little bit of a nerf. Sorry, Ryan Mains. <laughs> a little less armor. Sigma, a little bit a little bit of a nerf. Or no, a little bit of a change, let's say. His uh, rock stuns more, but it does less damage. Cassidy. Yeah, I mean, I think if uh, Sigma threw a big rock at me, I'd be a bit stunned. Oh, EMP can now disable Blizzard. So it actually is a great counterplay to Blizzard. If you could pop that before you get frozen, that'd be quite the big move. But we'll get got some new lighting, some new map lighting. <laughs> some new lighting? No way. I love lighting. <laughs> I love light. Let's be seeing you things. Know, yeah, I can't see a world without light. So, newly added, we have Night Hollywood. Uh, that'll be pretty. Wow. And New Queen Street Dawn. Fancy. Bug fixes! <laughs> got, That's got, a bug, dude! <laughs> put a one in chat if you're a fan of bug fixes. <laughs> <laughs> put, a, put, a, put a two in chat if you're a bug lover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not the biggest update. Oh yeah, Sleep Dart is nerfed only to tanks, though. Makes sense. Tanks yeah. being the easier target to hit. It can be pretty frustrating as a tank player. So I think opting to defend first. Again, with the defenders having the blue side of the map and the attackers having the red side. I always forget <laughs> until I see it in game. You know, uh, this actually says library. Does it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Biblioteca. Don't <laughs> start la biblioteca. Oh, we got some kind of game on the radio. <gasps> oh, that's cool. They got Lucio's album. Oh yeah, it's on Spotify, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. That is cool. Oh, someone's a fan of his music here. Wow. Maybe it's this place. <laughs> I mean, if I was famous, I'd have posters of myself on the wall too. You know? <laughs> So Buffalo not opting for the far mercy, but the far echo combo. Definitely, definitely gonna have damage coming in from multiple directions. Probably gonna have Diva. Diva trying to, to engage, maybe maybe stop flawless on that that echo on their, of their own. <laughs> Haze and flip flop. <laughs> Actually, interesting. Haze on the Haze on the Kiriko this time. Actually, I don't know if we've seen a full full Kiri Anna comp. I mean, we've Anna, seen Anna yeah. on this map. We've seen Anna, we've seen Kiri. I don't know if we've seen both. I, I could be mistaken. Toko Toro yeah. on the legs, actually. Very interesting. I want to see how this plays out. Both teams got that D.Va matchup. And Echoes. Yeah, not, not completely different comp, but I want to see how the Ash and Soldier kind of fool each other. You do get that early pick. They're gonna have to be sure. Deny that res, especially if they pour a ton of resources into it. Because they have such a strong ability in this game. From Mercy. But just a bit of a poke battle here. Both, both teams getting healed up plenty. Racer almost getting fallen. Uh, almost getting demacked, rather. But Tokotoro with the pick on a Bezo. Potentially try to stop a res from Carrot. Unable to do so, so it's back to 5 on 5 strength. Flawless makes a live paper with the temporary lack of heals with the resurrection. Now you just playing a little slow. They're not jumping fully in. They know they have a 4 on 5 advantage for at least 10 more seconds. But 
Racer trying to find some opening, but if Racer tries to split up the team, Buffalo. Racer's already got his ult. Yeah, Buffalo be fast. Contemplating yeah. going a little bit around Ko, so. Good call out. It looks like NAU caught it out early. Nano. Ooh, big sleep. Onto a live. And with the sleep on the tank, that might be exactly what Buffalo needs to finally cap this point. You have to hope this bomb is big. Bob being thrown out. Flawless does fall, as does Flip Flop, and it looks like this point's going to go to Buffalo. Tactical retreat. No stagger here. <laughs> Your baby diva. He's trying to find some kind of pick, but this will be Buffalo's point. So, decent time eat. Only, only two minutes left on the clock right now. Barring, barring what gets added with the checkpoint. But this, this point is where you're going to have to eat even more time, if not full hold them here. You have such high ground potential here. It's something that, uh, a spot that NIU struggled on in, against other teams on this map is, is this high ground potential, both, both defensively and, and offensively. So we're going to have to try and actually deal with this far, this, this Echo and Diva combo. is very vertically mobile. Resurrect is out, so we're back to five on five. Things. Actually, now advantage goes to Buffalo. Bezo with the pick on the Toko Toro, the headshot. Will be enough, though, because then you still got a lot of force going into this. You're committing alts. Ball is trying to find something, unable to. Instantly. <laughs> Instantly gets shot from their ultimate. So far, picks just are not coming from NIU. But it's not like it's been a complete collapse of a team fight. It's just been very slow back and forth. Both teams playing on the careful side. Oh, wow. That double, double rocket. Anti aside. Tokotoro completely shreds alive in their ultimate, completely shutting it down, trying to find it flawless. Gets a pick on the Bezo, but I think that resurrect ability is back. The res does come out, and it's got to be so frustrating if, if you're NIU. Finding the, the few picks that you have been able to find get, can cancel out because of resurrect, and you're not in a position to stop these reses, so looks like they're going to do a soft decontest, maybe. A recontest, there it is. Kitsune Rush going on a point. Razor trying to make something happen. Going to get demect. Going to commit. Going to commit self-destruct. Counteract it. Bob from Bezo gets poured in, but this fight goes to the Huskies. Yeah, I mean, NIU just committed so many ults to that fight. Yeah, they had, and they it, won, it, but... If there was a fight they had to win, it was going to be that one. But <laughs> yeah. ultimate economy not looking great for Buffalo either. Fire, uh, fire, li fire lies on, I believe. I pronounce it is uh, closest one with all, but there's still only three quarters of the way there. So looks like at least for the beginning of it, at least for our, our engage portion of this team fight, it's going to be going to be dumped out all. Holding this little little building on the right. Buffalo trying a different lane than something they've been doing a good amount of. They've been trying new areas. Racer, very smart, not staying in for too long. They almost had to pick on that Ash. You surely would have been demacked for it. But and they were trying to just sandwich, sandwich Buffalo from both sides. Buffalo in a sticky situation. They're still in there, waiting for an opening, waiting for some kind of mistake. And the Nano on to Echo. Roserai, very low. Gets found out. The nano visor, or the visor, sorry, the dry visor, along with Flawless, allows for a lot of picks with a lot of assists. Buffalo's gonna go back to the drawing board here. One minute 15 left on the clock. Smooth defense from NIU. One more minute to defend. Yeah, one more, pretty one good. more, two more team fights here. You have a duplicate, but. Gonna have to make sure that you don't completely get focus fire after <laughs> using it. Racer, <laughs> yeah, gonna, that metamorphosis. Expect Racer to play just a touch more aggressively. Alive, duplicating Ana actually, so you're gonna have a nano target pretty soon. Flawless slept. Oh, excellent sleep. It gets woken up a little early, trying to make something happen. Spacing out Bezo in that that mercy combo with Bezo, but the Ana anteed. Finishes what Flip Flop started and Flawless fights Carrot in the meantime. No heals for Buffalo. 25 seconds on the clock. Eight Bezo, oh, Bezo does find Flawless though, so they're going to have to be careful. 
I think NIU making the right decision. They're not going to pick off that baby diva. They're going to take their time. So whenever this contest happens, if it happens, going to be without without their diva. Ultimate advantage on NIU. You have to imagine Hayes going to pop that Kitsune rush pretty early just to just prevent them from, from stepping on. Alive, Good able touch. to touch on point, but I think that's all they'll get. Bomb on point, going to make things very difficult. And NIU with the excellent second point defense on Paraiso. <laughs> the ragdoll mercy then was kind of goofy. So you're essentially looking at just having a full cap two points, and you're up to a 2 nothing victory. Yeah, NIU, I mean, fantastic defense. Um, I'd say this is a very neutral map for NIU. I don't think they're the best on it, but I don't think they're bad at it by any means. So, I think uh, it suits their strengths a little more than, than other hybrid maps. I don't think, you know, Kings Row obviously been one that we've seen a ton of. Kings Row is just, <laughs> just a very comfort pick. And, you know, it's I love been, Kings it's, Row. It, it's, it's existed since the beginning of the game. But I think with NIU and, and the strength that they have on dive is, is something that, that Paraiso kind of plays into. I think if you look at the, the sort of the three, the th if you boil it down, there's really three types of comps that exist in Overwatch. If, if you don't, if you simplify it almost too much, you have <laughs> dive, you have poke, you have brawl. I think, without a doubt, NIU has a very strong, very strong brawl and dive. Poke a little, little less so, but it's still, it's still fairly strong. But I think this, as far as dive goes, I think this is the best iteration of NIU we've seen ever. I, mean, it, I don't think there's even another another team in the program's history that has been this good at dive. <laughs> Tugatoro playing with that, uh, that one thing. <laughs> Saying his favorite number. Little The little noise maker drum. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so silly. Is any going out? Try and find some kind of early pick, so. We'll have the echo, but not a mercy with it, so no resurrect to fall back on. <laughs> You'd want one in the case of that. Alive opening pick on a tug with Tor damage boost and mercy. So this mercy pocket gonna have to be gonna have to be addressed and dealt with. Flawless trying to find something to work with. Yeah, I think Flawless noticed the carrot in the corner and Toro tried to go for the cheeky yeah, kill. Tugotoro swapping on a soldier and they're actually gonna be going around. It looks like they're they're gonna try to take some of Buffalo's strats here. With this positional maneuvering, hopefully to find at least one of the supports alive anteed from Flip Flop, but the Pogue and the damage so much, but no, no picks or DMX from Buffalo. I think at least three different players on, on NIU was, were left uncritical there. The Pogue continues, a minute already eaten up on the clock. And Hayes, the pick on the Bezo, ball is pushing in to try and stop that. Two picks, only can only even res one of them, even with the res. A player advantage for NIU. Racer gets DMX, takes a huge amount of space taking ability, but it doesn't, doesn't matter. Toko Toro finds that opening pick. Flawless jumps in there immediately afterwards, make sure that res does not get, that res does not happen. They have five minutes. Yeah, I mean, great attack from NIU, and I just want to point out there at the end, I try and give all players a little bit of screen time when it's their moment. But Flop didn't miss a single shot as they were healing and damaging. I know. It, uh, look, I know people typically think, oh, if you're the best, if you have really good mechanical skill, you should go in DPS, but it shows just even on tank and support, that mechanical skill pays off in spades, and, and Flip Flop and Hayes both have that, and then some. Yeah, I mean, Flip Flop, or Hayes got that excellent pick, which really started that fight. Oh, yeah, that's right. My bad. It was, it was Hayes that got the yeah. pick, not Toko Toro. So. Yeah, it's, it snowballed into that. F five ultimates soon to be online for NIU. Four for Buffalo, almost. So expect maybe a little bit of tiny Overwatch here as well, but for NIU, you're going to see if you can try and win this off with just one or two. The card is already halfway Ooh, there to the point angle. that you need. Toko Toro getting a huge amount of poke and getting so many targets down to one. Gonna use Visor to get them down. And even though you have the Diva right in your face, Toko Toro gets two picks as a result. I mean, Toko Toro literally just turned on his aimbot for that fight. Right, just oh, no. Able to get t mech but instantly gets shredded again. And the res not gonna happen. If Buffalo want to do this, they're gonna have to do this 3v5. Anyone in a very excellent position, especially with that Hayes Kitsune rush. Bob not gonna stay alive for very long at all. Shredded. 1,000 HP gone in the blink of an eye. And NIU 
moves up to nothing. Yeah, I mean, if Bob was paper, NIU was the shredder. He, he <laughs> did not stand a chance. I guess the onslaught of uh, Kunai, that's what they're called. But, yeah, he's Hayes playing the game. Play the game. Wow. Is this the opening pick that we saw? It's, it has to be, yeah, I think I switched the camera here. Very clean. Headshot on the Bezo, and then the other headshot on I mean, the Roserai, and that allows Flawless to finish it off on Echo. So Hayes opening things up. It's like, if no one else is doing it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what's uh, Sage say in Valorant? I'm both sword and shield. <laughs> you know? I guess I'm both kunai and healing Kafuda things. Kafuda, Kafuda, I forgot the, <laughs> the name. The, the post-it notes. That <laughs> the post-it notes. Yeah. The office mates. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it feels good to be a NIU fan. You know, seeing the team perform this well. You know, I've, I know they've been scrimming a lot. They've been putting a lot of work in, so you know, it's great to see. Yeah. So we'll actually be back in just a minute while we wait for uh, the hybrid, or no, the pure payload choice from Buffalo. So we'll be back in just a one minute.
We are back, and we are going Havana. Havana, na, na, na. Sebastian. <laughs> I'm, I'm I maybe not Bastion, but I think I, I hardly know. knew her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting some Widowmaker, Hanzo, Ash type type action, especially with all these long sight lines. The Tempest. Oh. That's nuts. Shakespeare. Oh. Why does the boat have other things? It's futuristic. It's Overwatch. <laughs> Omnic technology. I mean, boats already float. <laughs> technically. We don't. We don't need. We don't need any of this. Uh, this fancy stuff. <laughs> maybe it's like a wireless charger. <laughs> Yo, wireless boat! <laughs> Alright, they're just kind of advertising the same movie over and over again. So actually, as I mentioned at the Pope comps. So I know you're going to be tested with their Pope comp ability here. The Hashimoto runner neighborhood now, so... But double sniper, both sides. Surprise. We don't see any kind of mercy pocket just yet, but the big difference is... The Zenyatta gonna give Bracer a bit of a tough time, I'm gonna imagine. <laughs> we'll have to see how Tokotoro and Flawless. It'll be yeah, Bezo alive and Tokotoro and Flawless kind of doing their sniper duel support yeah. tank, just trying to keep up. Uh, Tokotoro shoots his log sized arrows at the enemy. <laughs> the projectiles are massive. <laughs> Flawless trying to find something. Yeah, you know, they say uh, Hanzo's bow has the range of a football field. I mean, the arrows are the size of a football field. They're kind of hard to miss. <laughs> Poe continuing. And he's marching that card along. Ooh, nice block. Evil Empire. On the Sigma. Trying to find something here. So far, it's just a poke battle, but so many members of NIU are left on one, but the supports are able to heal everybody up. So, almost a th almost three different picks. Oh, Flawless barely misses yeah, the We all held our breath there for a second when we saw it. He doesn't know. The Itoko Toro, the headshot on the carrot, the main source of heals for Buffalo falling. And he's got to play this one fast. The Bezo on the pick, the flip flop slows things down just a little bit. Cart continuing to march forward, but without a clean team fight, you're not, you're not getting this cart. Racer trying to find a live. Doesn't get it. Bezo wins the Widow duel and it's back to, back to, back to spawn. To For NIU. <laughs> He's trying to avoid those headshots. Very close for NIU, but a couple couple picks at the end. Keep pushing forward. So far Bezo has been turning team fights in Buffalo's favor. Flawless. Gonna opt to switch. Early dragons. From alive. Not gonna find anything. Flawless, instead of opting to take the tracer head on, they're gonna opt to maybe distract her. Do some poke from the side. Toko Toro to pick on a Rosary. Crazy. Razor arrow. falls at the same time, so if anyone wants to win, is gonna have to do this one out there. They're gonna take with the Sigma on Buffalo almost just steps right into the dragon and gets picked off. Toko Toro pick onto alive. It's a three on four advantage for NIU. Toko Toro with another shot, the nano to keep them alive. He just doesn't find miss. Bezo in the meantime. And Hayes finishes off Carrot. NIU barring so close. A last second contest from Buffalo. Should be able to do this. Toko Toro picks a, a live off again. Karki is moving that fight on the back of Toko Toro. Yeah, he, he's playing exceptionally well tonight. I mean, he plays good always, but I don't know what he ate for. Actually, I do know what he ate for breakfast. He eats Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> I see. Leaks. Leaks. I'm leaking Toko Toro's diet of Cocoa <laughs> Puffs. You heard that first, folks. Hit headshots on Hanzo. <laughs> Eat those Cocoa Puffs. He's crazy <laughs> for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> Flawless, the stick forces out Immortality Field. Gonna allow NIU to pop that Kitsune Rush. Nothing to fall back on for Buffalo. And it's looking very likely like it'll be another team fight. The window popping up. Carrot took toward the excellent movement. Huge Three people flux. cut up in that flux. Has to burn Transcendence. So actually Buffalo turning this around with excellent support, ability, and ultimate usage. So far, no picks from NIU yet, but the fight is in the favor of the Bulls. 
Morgan continuing. Toko Toro, a headshot on the road to right. Toko Toro has been unstoppable on this Hanzo. As I say that, Alive puts an end to the Coco Puff's madness. <laughs> the Coco Puff master. Forcing recall, and I use the forwards trying to find some kind of pick here. Trying to help out Racer, but Bezo picking them off the ante. Trying to force Tracer back a little bit, but I think if you're NIU, you just do a little bit of a soft disengage here. And you're just trying to get some poking while they're waiting for Racer to come back on that Sigma. Bezo with the stick, so Bezo gonna be trying to find the oh. and the five four starts flip flop headshot onto the tracer. Trade battle between Kiriko and Hanzo. Trademark Kiriko play from her. And you try to work off that pick. They do just that. Alive gets found out. Lawless does fall. It's not gonna be lawless victory for NIU. It's gonna be. Gonna have to grind to get this team fight out. Poke coming in, but if you're not getting that bat first, they're not falling down. And Racer does just that. Gets the pick. 2K. Evil Empire finds something with flux of their own. The stick. Back and forth here from NIU and Buffalo. And so the cart cart's not moving at the moment. Buffalo's gonna be able to get a recontest and a pretty quality recontest at that. Racer gonna maybe just try and get a flux off a point. Ball is holding close, trying to stop something from happening. The flux coming out. Racer getting shredded. 16 HP. Lands so the flux. Tokotoro finds alive. Tokotoro getting these picks. But Racer getting more of their own. And NIU cap second point here after this pick on a face. So very slippery. Excellent movement ability. I feel like we're seeing Bezo on the Tracer. Actually, no. You know, we see him on the Tracer just to kind of help counter that Toko Toro. And his Yeah, shot. alive back onto the Widowmaker. These long sight lines on, on third point. So first and third played pretty similar. It's a second point where you kind of see things things change up a little bit. But and now you're going to have to watch their heads, literally. <laughs> I guess Toko Toro enchanted his both infinity. He's just pumping <laughs> out these arrows. One yeah. after another. It's got the chance. <laughs> the dragons splitting up Buffalo. Although the amount of poke that's coming in from them. And you can't push in too aggressively. Almost finds a pick on a carrot. Poke is just gonna continue and he was already pushing at the bridge, so already halfway to getting this card in, but like I said, without a, a clean team fight, and honestly probably even two, you're not capping against the bulls. No cap. Both Sigmas trying to take each other down. Toko Toro trying to find something happen. He's done it so many times before this map. Trying to find a pick to start something. The stick doesn't find anything but burns both immortality and, and transcendence. So that's huge for NIU going in going into the next fight. Potentially even last fight. 55 seconds left on the clock. Buffalo you know, not gonna be hard pushed up too. God. Buffalo relentless with this poke. 45 seconds, a Toko Toro headshot onto Bezo. It's a five on four advantage. Oh, almost two headshots. Toko Toro trying to find something else. He's aiming for pixels right it's now. It's so excellent so far, this match. But alive, trying to put a stop to the momentum that the Huskies have right now. No transcendence eraser. He just has to worry about this Discord orb and all the poke that's been landing onto him, even though you don't have to worry about, about immortality. Big grab. Oh, the Immortality Field uh, doesn't matter if they have it or not. They pick him off in the sky anyway, and it's just Sigma left on point. NIU trying to march his card and get a full three points to try and get that 3-0 victory. But looks like as far as the attack side, they'll have the opportunity to. Just one more team fight. Racer gets a pick on Hayes. Bob being committed. The focus fire is going to have to be there. Is sleeping for now, but flip up and flawless. Both get picked off. Bezo with the pick out of Toko Toro, it's just too alive for NIU. And just like that, Buffalo turns it around and prevents the full cap. Is she dapping? No. <laughs> so excellent, excellent stuff from, from Buffalo. Yeah, I mean, NIU didn't cap all three points, but they got it. Essentially really all the way. Really far. Essentially turns into a quick play game where 
Nice. NIU gets a victory with any result aside from a Buffalo full cap. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know if this play is going to be pretty quick, but uh, I'm not going to try and say that word because it sounds bad. <laughs> Just because I, 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 I don't have an accent for this stuff, you know? <laughs> but I'm really, excited. I'm really excited to see this last uh, this push from uh, Buffalo. I mean, it might not be the last we see tonight, but... If you're an NIU fan, you hope it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're uh, you're definitely believing. So. And you're trying to get outside and enjoy that warm weather. <laughs> yeah, you know. I don't think uh, ledges like this would pass OSHA violation. This is an OSHA violation. Yeah, you need some ledging. I think you fall right out this, especially with a small kid. That's a citation. Like I'm, a shut, I'm okay. shutting this place down. Yeah. Switch map, guys. Come on. <laughs> Can't have yeah, one uh, Leaving your fruit out in the sun, it's a catalyst for bacteria. Yeah. Your mm. scale is a... Um, isn't balanced properly. <laughs> <laughs> Very improperly. Oh, am I yeah. seeing this right? Is this a junk rat? What? A junk rat from Bezo. But it's on Buffalo. <laughs> oh, no. Nope, uh, we got trolled. Get trolled. So the Hanzo Widow double duel. My barrier is gone. Poke. Well, it's this long angle. Poke the name of the game here. Took with Toro, try to make something work with Bezo and Alive have both been proven incredibly lethal, but Racer with the pick out of the main source of heals. Carrot on that Baptiste is down. Racer gonna be playing a little bit more aggressive because of it. And Took with Toro finds a pick and it looks like this team fight. Gonna go to the Huskies, although it spawns this closer. It's not really a clean break in team fights. Bezo. As they do that, it turns things around in Buffalo's favor just a little bit. The pick on a Toko Toro. It's been incredibly, incredibly high skill level See, Widow, Widow battle play between so these these four snipers in the lobby right now. Although four decreases down to three is alive. Opsra, something that Flawless tried to do last round. A bit more of a dive character. Try and mess around with those snipers. The excellent rock, the scatter arrow finishes it off, but. Looks like Buffalo's gonna march his card in without too much of a fight. Back to the drawing board for NIU. They're gonna, have to, they're gonna need an answer for, for this comp that Buffalo's running, especially with Bezo gonna be incredibly lethal and open things up very easily with that Widowmaker. Hello. And just even if you don't get picks, just existing as a Widowmaker and, and NIU obviously has the respect of Bezo, of even even if you don't get picks, just existing create space because the NIU possibility is going to try and avoid of getting it. picked. Yeah, just the possibility of getting picked changes your psyche, it changes the way you play just a little bit. And with this Genji on alive is you know, providing issues in a whole different way of being directly in your face. And with a well-timed Suzu, gonna prevent any anyone getting getting picked off. Ace trying to keep the team up. Toko Toro does fall. It's been non-stop Buffalo picks. The card has been moving. Flip flop, trying to make something happen with this Kitsune rush. The wall climb not there. No where to teleport to. Trying to find something to work with, but Buffalo is going to get second point here, barring barring an excellent recontest from NIU. Yeah, I think NIU is going to wait and get to get to him. I mean, they got the map wins. They can afford to lose a point. Trying to hold this last final push. Five minutes. You think they can handle it? I think they can do it. They they've had crazier holds before. Keep in mind they almost held uh, t currently tied for first seed Miami to spawn doors for almost four minutes last week. But it's certainly not going to be any easy task. The nano flux going to be counteracted by immortality and transcendence. So. Good counterplay from Buffalo, gonna make things that much more difficult for NIU. And so many resources being spent to keep NIU alive. I was gonna say the blade is gonna be issues, but not if you're flawless hitting those headshots. Very necessary pick if you wanted to win that fight if you were NIU. So many resources being used to keep your team up and the blade coming in. You are not gonna outlive it, but the Sigma Flux find something. Ball is trying to make something work on the blade, only finds an immortality field in the kill feed in return. And NIU is down to their last, essentially their last team fight here. 
very early on. It's been a complete night and day difference on their, their attack versus defense that really haven't had a, a clean, clean break in team fights to begin with. This has not been working. You see Flawless going to Hanzo now. So, you know, you see that, uh, I guess, is Ash technically a sniper? Would you say she is? Or not? Ash? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so you got double snipers again from NIU. Yeah. They're trying to make something work here. It's been all Buffalo on this attack. Not many picks. Flawless opens up some good news if you're a Huskies fan. It is a five on four advantage right now, but that, that second pick has been been hard to find for NIU on this attack. They've, they've had a couple first picks, but that second one that's been getting them trouble, but looks like Buffalo's just gonna do a soft decontest, get out, recontest. They have over three minutes to work with. You can understand if they're being patient, the burn on the Genji trying to find them. A lot of resources being used on both sides. The Katsune Rush trying to take control of Bridge. The amplification matrix from Carrot. Pretty much almost counteracting that. Says if you want if you want that Suzu Rush, you're gonna have to walk into double damage and double heals. In return, Bob being committed from Toko Toro. The focus fire is gonna be there. Discord orb on Bob. The shield doing an excellent job of protecting him. So great coordination from NIU. Keeping this Bob up. Immortality taken down from Carrot Bezo with the headshot in the bottom left. I don't think NIU expected the Widow to be positioned there. Dragon trying to split something up, creates some kind of opening. Genji in that front line Ooh. gets picked off yeah. and in the blink of an eye, three picks on the side of the Huskies. So they finally get this first clean team fight win. It's pretty much the entire attack. Oh. Nice shot from Flawless. Oh, it's time. The Toko Torb. Toko Torb. Let's go. <laughs> Toko Torb is insane. Toko Torbo. <laughs> Why does he have like a fart cloud in his portrait? That's smoke. <laughs> I, I don't remember smoke having that color. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> Wallace has to watch this poke here. And Genji, alive on Genji, proving to be such a lethal force. Racer Crazy stopping Flux, trying to get a Flux of their own. Doesn't pick up the Genji in Blade, so it's going to cost a couple picks from NIU. The Toko Toro, Toko Toro's turret, rather, <laughs> just laying finishes on the damage. off alive. The sixth, the sixth member in the hidden MVP of this team fight, the turret. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind Flip Flop getting, I, I believe, two or three picks in that fight. It, it was a turret. It was a turret to get the single pick. Can we interview the turret? Yeah, can, let's yeah, yeah. bring the turret in here. Just pull up chat GPT and be like, hey, pretend you were a Tok Togren's turret. <laughs> <laughs> I love shooting projectiles into the <laughs> enemy team. <laughs> I love when Torbjorn hits me with his mallet. <laughs> <laughs> so support ultimates online for Buffalo. Not much else to work with. It's another Kitsune rush. Oh, look at that. Toga from Flip Flop, gonna be coming up very soon. Does it Togo snipers. Toro! <gasps> we thought we, <laughs> yeah. we thought we lost a sniper, but we gained two more members. <laughs> An early early window. Yeah, it's crazy angle. Like, oh, Roserai, the pick on the flawless. In the window he has a little bit aggressive position here. The turret gets taken down. Kitsune Rush, the transcendences from Roserai have been excellent here. And it allows Ryan to just swing for free, creating so much ultimate charge. The anti, the Baptiste almost left. Racer falls without getting the pick on that map. Yeah, close to so many ults too. And he is so close, but so far only 30 seconds left. I don't believe they've gotten a single pick for even respawn advantage. And they're gonna march, march this card in. Buffalo is gonna take a map, and we go 2-1 Northern Illinois. I think if NIU could have held that. Five more seconds, they would have had. I don't know how many. I think it was it, like three ults yeah, on the side. They built ults at the exact, the exact last second. Well, not even last, right after the last second where you needed them. Yeah. Buffalo, I mean, despite despite having some trouble breaking through that castle, just like NIU did, they're able to do what they could not. And and Cathos point as a result of that, they get a map of their own. But I guess the benefit is NIU. You now have. Your choice of maps. You have you now your choice of push maps, rather, with something that we haven't seen very often here in in ESC. I think we've only seen seen it twice. Mm -hmm. um, and and I, you have to wonder, what what map fits that composition that NIU is strong at better? Because I think it's shown. So the sig the Sigma double sniper comp Buffalo might have a little bit of an edge, but it, as far as what we've seen from Dive and what we've seen from from Brawl, uh, it's, it has gone the way has gone the way of NIU. So. And he's wasting no time. Esperanca 
is is the map choice. I think this is the first time we may have seen it, but like it definitely lends itself to that that more we'll brawl and dive a little bit. Um, so if if Esperanka and you wants to avoid a map five and potentially looking down a reverse sweep, uh, too early to say that, but if you really want to take care of business here because the, the, the more you let Buffalo in this game, the more pressure you have being put on. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, and he's got a little leeway here with that you know one game lead, but you don't want to get too comfortable because reverse sweeps are <laughs> a real thing. We almost we almost did it to a couple teams. We've had it happen to us. We've done it to other teams before. Yeah. Um, you know, grass grows, birds fly, and the score is never final. So. <laughs> Excited to see push. Not something we see often, so I'm ex excited to see how NIU kind of what their strategy is to this. Let's take a look at some of the matches that have gone around the conference as we we, we you know head in our last last game of the season. So Ball State University looking to keep their number one seed positioning. I think they might actually just do that with a 3-0 win against Northern Kentucky. And Western Michigan beats their Central Michigan counterpart 3-0. So Western Michigan also improving their record, getting some momentum. SC playoffs. So I don't see any other scores being being put in. We do have a couple supporters from Kent State in the chat. We love our Kent State friends. <laughs> they actually participated in our pickup games uh, last Friday. So oh, really? welcome, welcome, Kent State friends. Welcome. <laughs> I hear the the battle I cries. Heard, Come on, Huskies! <laughs> They're what excited. Kind of, what kind of podcast is this? <laughs> 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 no strings attached. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice dinner. Why? So I get this person having their fork knife this way, but I don't get this person having it sideways, you know? That's my kind of sense. Got some wind. Yeah, I guess okay. there's a gust on. So it is going to be pretty much a full dive comp from, from both teams. He's on that Lucio. They've been so, so much improved on that Lucio. I just realized that Lucio's back is a frog. Oh yeah, I think that's an Overwatch 2 specific design. Yeah, I did not know that until just now. So NIU, trying to make something happen. Yeah. Togotaran is, uh, is, is a soldier. I'd say one of his better characters. That needs to dive. Coming out, almost finds a pick out of the Winston Toko Toro with a well-placed railgun shot, does just that. So the main tank for Buffalo being taken out right away. NAU gonna try and have to mush, push that card. They're gonna do just that. Just Winston said. Push, push, watching pushes as a fan of, of, of a specific team, so sweet, because you can see that, that those meters climbing, and every meter, Every meter you push is, is an extra meter that, that Buffalo is going to have to push as well. And if these picks keep coming in and this aggression keeps coming in from NIU, it's going to look to be just that flawless and racer on the Tracer Winston creating su such an issue for Buffalo right now. I mean, it, it's a cannon combo, right? You know, Tracer and Winston just yeah, do their thing. Yeah, very good buds. <laughs> the power of friendship. Mm -hmm. And you're almost at that first checkpoint. I think Buffalo's gonna let them have it. Yeah, they don't really have the room to engage here. So checkpoint gotten for NIU, so they're gonna get forward spawn instantly. Just a couple team fight wins. Oh yeah, because that was a change, right? They All that's needed, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, the change of spawn, if you, if you have that checkpoint, you get a little closer spawn until the enemy team pushes it past the middle. That might just be the case of what we see here as Rose Wright does pick off Flawless. Live on the Haze and takes it falling apart for the Husky. So their push will end at 64 meters. Buffalo's gonna have to match that if they want to send this to a map five. NIU trying to stop this now, trying to make trying to view Havana as just a slight hiccup. Such a close map that was, so. And IU loses that close spawn. Be very careful right now not to get picked off, especially with those respawns being so long. Racer. Critical oh, speed. flawless. <laughs> Roserai was so focused. 
on picking off that Winston. Wallace with the tracer pick onto them. The stick, maybe not necessary. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> oh, actually, maybe it is. Evil Empire gets a ton of picks of their own. Actually, quite even here from Buffalo and NIU, but the, the cart is moving in the Huskies' favor at the moment with no supports. And he's going to do a slight decontest. Wait for the supports to come back. So this 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 cart, this robot's not going to be moving very far in either direction for the time being. And then you're going to have to opt to use of ultimates, Rose Rise, but a very excellent, such well-placed transcendences that they have to expect another one from here again. And Nano and Winston trying to make something happen, but Rose Rise gets picked off before transcendence actually gets used. And he's stuck. Tokotoro, Ooh, sound save. barrier, perfectly timed. A lifesaver, Hayes. Trying to make something happen. The cart's going to continue to go in the Huskies' favor. It's go time, more like it's no time. Oh, no. If you're alive, look at it, Toko Toro. Picks coming back and forth. Flawless already back. So this cart has not been moving. This cart has been pretty much in the same vicinity for a very long time. No teams has made any, any new, it broke any new ground. The transcendence there. Heal's advantage is definitely going to be on Buffalo for the time being. But as the transcendence ends, Roserai actually puts himself a little bit out of position, allows him to get picked off. Flip flop, excellent place, headshot. And no Discord Orb if you're Buffalo, which allows Racer to play a little more aggressive, allowing them to get the pick onto Bezo. And this fight is nice going to go to the Huskies. Oh my gosh. Sends Wiz spiraling, quite literally. you. Almost back to creating new ground. The will just do that. So, Feels like selling, huh? 70 meters and counting. Only a pulse bomb to really work with. You have Primal Rage and Cassidy High Noon. If you're if you're on Buffalo. Well, right, we have some Western Michigan and Kent State fans in the chat because that night you win this. Their their seed only improves. Yeah. Buffalo, I think believe Buffalo falls to seed seed number seven. If, if they lose this match, and, and then you're continuing to win these team fights, continuing to move that cart. And Winston, flip flop, gonna, not yeah. afraid to get up close and just start throwing stuff. <laughs> even even in a full strength five on five team fight, flip flop's not afraid to do that. Yeah. You're really showing that supports aren't just healing; they can actually have some other impact. Yeah, flip flop, just incredibly bloodthirsty. So good mechanically, flip flop is. I, both, both Hayes and Flip Flop has had excellent plays on that Kuriko today. And the Kitsune rush from Flip Flop allows Racer to just get in there. Soundberry ensuring that Buffalo ain't going to turn a, turn the tide with a random pick anytime soon. And this card's moving closer to spawn. We are in one fight territory from NIU getting this win. Using uh, the robot as cover. Yeah, one fight territory. Very smart. Flawless to pick onto a live. NAU has the advantage already. Bezo headshot on the flip from spawn. It's going to be an even fight here. Three spawn advantage, obviously, on the side of Buffalo. Tokotoro with the pick onto Bezo. Cart is being contested. Evil Empire gets a pick on the Tokotoro. NAU continuing, trying to push this in. Racer zapping him off cart. But looks like Buffalo. We'll live to see at least one other team, one more team fight. Ball is trying to get out, rolling. trying to find That's something. Okay, so you get carrot. You're gonna have you're gonna have quick spawn there if you're NIU by the time Flawless comes back. So actually, benefit benefit to to, to the Huskies there. It was a wise decision for Flawless to try and go for that pick at the expense of their life. NIU only three and a half minutes left to go have to prevent Buffalo from stringing together a couple team fights. If they can do that, they will get this win. Sound barrier being committed from Rosarai. Putting a huge He's amount of pressure of on there. the Huskies. Almost touching the skybox there. Toko Toro finds the Lucio. Gets traded out. Four on three advantage for Buffalo. For NIU, okay. NIU gonna go back to the drawing board a little bit, I think. I believe they committed any ultimates here. Maybe mistaken, but NIU, it's okay. okay, you can have that point. You still have to push it at 132 <laughs> meters before you can even tie us, but yeah. you can you can get it. But definitely more than enough time for Buffalo to take this map. If, if they can string together a few team fights, get a good ultimate economy going, you know, not, not 
commit too many ults, which they've been doing just that. Only only Kitsune Rush and Sound Beer uh, being used last fight. You can go either way, any man's game. Yeah, and now you're hoping to finish with a 6-6 six and six record. Trying to make Buffalo do the same here. The Annihilation coming out from Evil Empire immediately finds Flip Flop. The finishing pick, and Buffalo's gonna get another team fight here. Even though a couple ultimates were committed. Yeah, not much NA you can do in that fight. So if you're NA, I think this this is the team fight that you that you really need to win. Because Buffalo has just gotten the checkpoint, but they don't have really any ultimates to work with. The closest you are is a Katsune Rush, which is still 40% away. You get the checkpoint and you have three ultimates of your own to work with. So I think if you're NIU, this is your this is your chance. This is your golden opportunity to, to, to close things out and, and squash any hope of a comeback from Buffalo. And they're gonna do that with the flank, the quick engage, sound barrier being committed, speed boost. Buffalo has nowhere to run, trying to find a live on that soldier, and they've proven to be so incredibly lethal. Most most important target, Hayes, is picked off by Evil Empire. It is a four-on-four. Four. Everyone's so split up. It is chaotic here. Focus Fire's not there, but Carrot, no peel. Gets picked off. Tokotor with the pick out of Rose Rye, but everyone's still so low on both sides that the fight is far from said and done. Now it's just it's just Evil Empire. And they're gonna fall, so NAU gets control One back of this left. cart. You're gonna have to need to push that cart in because every second you're not pushing that cart. There you go. Actually, I believe, never mind. Correct me. I thought uh, Buffalo still had a short spawn enabled, but they did not. So everyone from Buffalo getting a long spawn. You really have one more team fight left. You need one more clean team fight to win for if you're NIU. So you have the question, do you just commit a couple ults or do you, do you throw everything at the wall? But NIU has done that. They've used a couple ultimates at a time and it's gotten counteracted by a sound barrier or a transcendence oh. from Rosarai. They're not gonna be able to commit sound barrier this time. Tokotoro, excellent place pick, trying to find maybe two. Chunks down the Ramadra a little bit. Kitsune Rush make, it, make things for a little difficult for NIU. Counteracting with the Kitsune Rush of their own. It is a four on five advantage for the Huskies. Fall is trying to find some kind of stick to clinch it. Doesn't stick anybody, but it allows... Oh, Tokotoro with another pick on the Rosarai. Shuts down the sound barrier. Annihilation out from Buffalo trying to make something work and they're gonna actually do it. They find both supports. And uh, Annihilation saves Buffalo at the very last second. Tokotoro, 11 <laughs> HP, not anymore, zero. <laughs> zero HP. So, NIU just needs one more team fight. I think at this point, if you're looking at this cart, you probably have two, maybe two and a half team fights. You have to win just one of them. A clean team fight from NIU, and you 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 get the win, you improve the 500, and you get a little bit of momentum going into the ESC playoffs. Remember, regardless, either way, NIU will finish with that eighth seed. Have the chance to knock Buffalo down from fifth to seventh, though, with a win here today. Racer, so incredibly low, has to go into that nemesis form super quickly, but the focus fire from Buffalo is just there, and then some. Racer trying to stay alive as much as they can. The stick being committed. Doesn't find anybody. Tokotor <laughs> grabbing the help back. Needing the crowd. The sound barrier allows for <laughs> aggressive play from NIU, trying to find something, potentially a support in that back line. Hayes, so low HP. But the pick onto Alive is gonna potentially just do just that. Ramatra falls, it up. Racer with 2K. It is a five on three advantage for NIU. They're so close to clinching this, and they will do just that. The cleanup is there. And NIU, 3-1 victory against the University of Buffalo. They improved to six and six. They finished the season with some great momentum. Probably, honestly, one of the strongest showings from NIU all year. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic gameplay, especially at the end there. I mean, it got pretty close. Um, and they were able to just clutch it, pull through. <laughs> so flawless here, he's doing flawless things. <laughs> Running in circles around the other team, so. Shutting down ultimates, get it. Shots. Tuck Toro has done it all, and actually, we'll be we'll be hearing from him momentarily. He'll be our he'll be the our, our man, the myth, post the game. Legend. He'll be our post game interview. The Coco Puff connoisseur. The Coco Puff demon. The Coco Puff puritan, I might add. <laughs> so we will be back in just one minute with an interview from the very own Toko Toro. Don't go anywhere.
All right, we are back here with the, <laughs> I mean, my opinion, the MVP of the match, Toko Toro, although everyone had to shine in their own way to, to get a victory against that very tough Buffalo team. GG's to them. They, they, they played very well. But Toko Toro, uh, get a first question just based on, you know, what we we talked about, Nick and I, on the broadcast. There was a new patch today. Has Did that affect any of your game plans or compositions going going into the game? Um, Well, with the little time we had before our game, um, there were some mixed opinions on how the Brigitte changes to her ultimate would be. Um, we ended up ruling out that it just would not be the, the plan since we had practiced for so long on our our established comps. We didn't want to throw a wrench in those plans too quickly. Um, the Cassidy change affected a little bit. You saw Flawless playing a bit more Tracer as opposed to the Cassidy. Um, I didn't play as much Cassidy either. So I think the changes didn't affect us too much. Th they were worth considering, but nothing ultimately came of it. Yeah. So as you know, there's kind of a similar grouping of teams. I think I've alluded to this all season long. There's kind of like four teams that are that are roughly in a similar similar skill group, and and those those games against each other, and especially our games against those three teams, those being Kent State, Western Michigan, and Buffalo, were kind of the ones that we said, okay, these are the games that kind of define our season as far as as our record goes, and far as where we stand in the standings. Um, Kent State and Western Michigan obviously didn't go our way. Was there was there what was the difference maker in in, in the game against Buffalo? I think it was a, a composition matchup kind of thing. We know Kent State loves to play the rush comps. You know, wild thing. Crazy Reinhardt does <laughs> what he does. Um, excellent with that aggression. And then uh, West, Western Michigan, um, they like to play the Arisa. And I think we were not quite prepared for dealing with Arisa. And then for Buffalo, we know that um, Alive – likes to play a lot of Farah and Deco with the occasional hit scan, but we knew the we going into this game we knew dealing with the flying character would be a priority. And I think our poke comps have been getting a little bit better so that we were able to deal with that a little bit more and our rush comps against um, Western and Kent kind of fell flat because we weren't ready for Kent's aggression and Western Michigan's Arisa. Yeah, fair enough, we got a very very but depth we, answer. We have said that <laughs> I mean, granted, the Western Michigan game was 3-2, I think. Yeah. On any other day, with even just an hour's worth more of warm-up and practice, I think we could have beaten them. Very true. Well, might have the chance to, uh, given some given some deep playoff runs from both teams. So as you know, I mean, the, one of the reasons we, we got in here, not only that you did so well, but this is actually, as a senior, your last regular season ESC game. Not your last. You're, 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 you still have a, a couple more games to play, but – what would you say has been the, your personal accomplishment this year and, and just overall in, in the ESC? Um, in terms of this year, I mean, last year was my first year playing damage. Um, I previously was a support player. So switching to damage and last year, I kind of, I struggled to even break diamond. And I, even at that point, I'm like, I had this DPS, I'm at, like, I'm just okay at it. But I feel like I've started, especially this year, and maybe it's just a, the team environment, or maybe it's just generally my skill has improved. But um, being able to climb ranks has made me feel a bit more confident as a player. Um, and then overall, I just feel like the the networking that the ESC provides, not only through NIU but also through various, you know, of the other schools in the ESC. You know, we talk to so many other people. You get to meet so many people. It's really a enlightening and also humbling experience sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I know you guys have been making a lot of a lot of different friends, a lot of different programs we've had. I think we think we had both Western Michigan and uh, Kent State representatives in the chat uh, cheering you guys on as as the game was was going on. So, so anything else you want to say to to our fans and then. Maybe some supporters watching potentially from, from other programs that we have as well. Well, uh, if you're here representing another program, uh, thank you for tuning in. Yes, thank um, you. We hope you enjoyed our game. Kept it close for the content. Um, aside from that, you know, I give my thanks to NIU Esports for having me all four years of my college experience whether we're a tiny club team in the basement of a dorm or <laughs> <laughs> now a a more fully fledged program with a proper gaming arena um 
it's been a great time. Um, watch out for us next year. Yes. We might surprise some of you. Yes. You never know what will happen. Um, I know I'll be in the chat. Hopefully some of you guys will still be there. And, uh, yeah, thanks thanks a bunch. But it means a lot. Yes, thank you. But as we mentioned, the story is not over yet. So NIU qualifying for the ESC playoffs. We were clinched after today, but – you know, some, some funny business happening around with the seeding with, with the, the results of today. So NIU actually moving to, to six and six. Uh, and I believe they're still currently locked in for that, that eighth seed. So I believe with the results that we had, they have Ball State next week. Obviously going to be a very, very tough opponent. But you, know, you guys were able to stream some string some, uh, some team wins against Ball State last time. So very excited to see to see what, what next week holds. And, and, and certainly, you know, story, story is far from over. Um, but – for those that are watching, just want to say thank you again for tuning in. Have a wonderful day, and catch us next Tuesday as we take on uh, take on the number one seed in the ESC playoffs. Thanks, guys.